Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 18 of my OT8 guide. I am not going to lie, this is probably going to be the hardest part of the entire run. Um, <clears throat> we are going to um, be uh, kidnapped and gimped up in this video, and so we're going to have to face people with full-on weapons um, without any of our gear. So it's just going to be a shovel versus two people with shotguns. Um, <clears throat> and then the catnip is going to be taken away from us as well. So we have no ability to cheat whatsoever. Um, we have to fight uh, purely with our skill, and this is probably the only spot in the entire run that's going to require legitimate skill. Um, <clears throat> so, if you can do this... Oh, looks like blood's going up the walls this time. Um, uh, but anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, if you can do what ha goes on in this yeah, video, you can complete the rest of the run. This is the bottleneck point. If you can complete this, you're golden. So we're gonna go up over, take the stinks. And then we're going to pee on uh, Steve Jobs, I mean, um, the postal dude's dad's grave. Um, <coughs> Now here it comes. The hardest part in the entire run. There are other parts that are technically harder, but in those parts you always will have catnip as a fallback. Here you don't. This sequence literally took me 20 times right here in this room. And then of course the stuff following it uh, gets to be a challenge as well, because... Um, let's take a break real quick. I'm uh, taking out my uh, anger on uh, that guy's head. <laughs> but anyways, the other challenging bit is you don't want to save. Even though that was extremely hard and took 20 tries, there is a spot in the future that you need to save at. Because this is one of those few cases where you get a uh, checkpoint save. Now, you probably don't want to shovel that guy to death. I just happen to have the shovel loaded. Um, that was probably a mistake. I probably wanted to keep the shotgun uh, loaded. Now, since when did hillbillies have automatic machine guns and whatnot? Seems kind of unrealistic. But, anyways, we're going to have to just live with it. And we get our scissors back and a few other items. <laughs> now, there is a shortcut in the brewery, and you could skip more than half of the brewery if you use it, but you will not recover most of your items. And frankly, your ammo is probably worth more at this point than skipping most of this map. So we are not going to employ the shortcut. I will show you the spot where the shortcut can happen, but uh, you'll be on your own if you wish to use it. So we're gonna do a lot of fighting here. A lot of these guys, we just have to headshot from a distance, but some of them will come all the way to the store. And I think I end up using my Glock against them, because we got our Glock ammo um, already. And I haven't been using it at all this run yet, so it's fully packed. So, the checkpoint will occur uh, over the Stompers. Um, for those of you that have played already, you probably know this. 
Um, we're going to abuse that as a free save. And we are going to save, we're going to use our actual save some at some point after that. So this map we get two saves by the good graces of that. <coughs> okay, so now a whole bunch of rednecks are coming our way. Be sure to set your Glock to fully automatic. So it will function as a proper machine gun. And if you've been stockpiling like I have, you're gonna have plenty of ammo to make things work. And a nice little blood fountain. Should probably get one of those as a decoration for my house. That's pretty awesome. <coughs> so now the bass sniffer is a bit hard to read in this area because there are multiple floors to this map and it's reading people on the next floor up. So keep that in mind. And then to make your life easier when you get up there, we're gonna try to shoot as many people up there from down here as we can. Um, that way we don't have to fight them up there. And we're at, we're at an advantage up here because they don't really know we're here and we can hide behind these walls where they lose interest and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, in October when I uh, got the achievement, the, I did not do this um, shooting up the catwalk business, and it proved to be a lot more challenging uh, that way than in this particular run. This time around, it was a lot easier. I only needed to do that particular segment. Um, maybe two or three times instead of eight times or ten times. So it is very helpful to take out these two to five guys that you can notice from the catwalk. Alright, so this is where you would go if you want to do the shortcut. You're going to wedge yourself into this spot right here. Just keep jumping and barrel yourself in and you're going to get that looks like you're stuck. Um, where I was jumping repeatedly, that's where it's going to spawn you. Sometimes it'll spawn you right here again, but if you try it two or three times, it will eventually take you up to the next level, which skips a lot of things. But we are not going to do that because I prefer having my ammo over skipping 30 to 50 mobs. And also, I was still under the impression that we get the catnip back. I am relatively certain that at one point in one of my games of Postal 2, I did get the catnip back. I didn't find it, and the internet says that I didn't. I could not do that. Now, I know that the internet is a compulsive liar, but it could also be the case that I am misremembering, so... Either way, um, for you, I did uh, set you up with the um, fallback option of storing the catnip away at some um, house next door to your trailer. And so you won't lose any catnip, and you're going to have essentially five more catnip than I will because I am continuing from where I left off. Um, it would take too much effort to restart the entire day. So, uh, you guys will have a lot of surplus catnip to play around with if things are too difficult for you. So, uh, Merry Christmas. I definitely need more of that. So, when we get up to the top of this ramp and uh, touch the conveyor belt, that is when the autosave checkpoint will happen. And that's where this video will cut off, so I will see you in video 19.